Welcome to my channel and quite a large Home Bargains haul. Well, well, well. Now this is being purchased over. To... There are things flying around in this room today. I don't know where they go though. You can't see them once they've gone in front of the screen. Anyway, this haul is, is quite a large one. It's bought from two different shops. I've been down on two occasions. I uh, actually wasn't going to go in today and then I just happened to be walking by. So I thought I'll have a little browse. So I've got beauty. I've got stationery. I've got food. Anyway, let's get cracking. Um, what should we start with? I don't know where to start. So we'll start with these two little beauties. Some more pat butcher earrings. Absolutely love these. These are reusable bags. Uh, they have these in black and white and red and white. They are only 79p. Most reusable bags I find are at least a pound, so 79 pence is great. I love the shape of these. They're not too big, got nice handles, nice and strong. Um, and I think these are a lovely gift for someone with maybe a, an umbrella. And if you could get a black umbrella or a spotty umbrella, all the better. Right, let's do a few food items. I'm going to whiz through these quickly because I realise food can be a bit boring. Uh, first of all, Dormio, stirring sauce, tomato, uh, smoked bacon and tomato. Uh, these are really nice just to mix in with just a bit of pasta. Quickest meal in the world. Bit of pasta, bit of that. Warm it all through. Obviously, cook the pasta first. Warm it all through. Bit of salad. Lovely evening meal. And the whole portion is 71 calories and they come in at 79 pence. More Dolmio, I featured these on my channel before. The mini meatballs, again, cook some pasta, warm this up. You just stick it in the microwave actually. Um, just tear the pouch, put it in the microwave for I think only about a minute and then pour it over your food, bit of Parmesan cheese, a bit more salad, cracking meal, pound a piece. And these are 74 calories. Another quick and easy meal. You can see another one of those things flying around. Um, I'm all about the convenience. These aren't overly uh, nutritious or healthy for you, but again, I love these with a bit of, with a bit of uh, salad, pasta and sauce, bachelors, 69 pence, chicken and mushroom. Now these, uh, Hang on. Oh, my fabulous has leaked. Oh dear. It's leaked all over everything. That's not good, is it? I suppose you can think of worse things to leak. Of course, do I need to say any more? Got five packs. Pound a pack, five bars, 99 calories. Absolutely delicious. My only problem is I can't stop at two. Squares. So... I have had them in chocolate, brown chocolate before. Or is that quite recent? I've had those. Recent-ish. Anyway, I didn't realise they did them in white. <gasps> These are absolutely scrummy. If you have got a very sweet tooth and you're after a quick sugar crave, oh, these are what you need in your pantry. So you get four bars and they are Rice Krispies with gooey marshmallow which is like melted and sticks all the rice krispies together they are only 119 calories for us for one so you like to say you get four in there i absolutely love them and i will say with these believe it or not i've got such a sweet tooth one of these is enough i could not eat two of these so if you're a bit of a, a gannet or if you're a bit of a if you open a pack you've got to eat the lot you won't with these unless you've got a really, really, really sweet tooth because they just sort out that sugar craving. So I got these in uh, the white and then I also got them in the dark chocolate or the brown chocolate, uh, milk chocolate. And the milk chocolate ones have little chunks of, of chocolate in them. These don't, the white, but yeah, the, the brown ones have nice little chunks as well. Um, similar sort of calories, very different taste actually, but yes, yeah, so I've got two packets of white, two packets of brown. Cocoa chicken noodles, cocoa chicken noodles. Oh, they've put these up in price in our home bargains. They've gone up to 29 pence from 27. 
Uh, these are so quick and easy snack again. Uh, yeah, I'm all about the processed food today, aren't I? Terrible. But I'll be honest with you, I just don't have a lot of time to be preparing loads of food. I haven't got children. Alan tends to cook his own meals because he is a very strict vegetarian now. So our meals are always... I do often... I do have vegetarian meals with him sometimes, but I do still eat meat. The coca chicken noodles, absolutely delicious snack. All you need to do is add water. And um, you can even do these in the microwave. I have been doing them on the hob, but I think it, they are better in the microwave. Uh, five packs of those, 29 pence a pop. Now, this next item I used to love as a child. I don't know why. I used to go on some really stupid diets when I was younger. And you'll realise why I'm including these in a minute, because they're like flipping thin air. Uh, crisp breads. But not the Rivita type. Um... Now, I'm not sure, don't think these are the normal brand that I used to eat when I was younger. I used to have them with lemon curd on them, or Philadelphia. But these are gluten-free, so I'm not sure if they're going to be a different taste to the ones I used to have. If you can remember what that brand was, if you ever had them before, let me know, because I'm intrigued. Low in fat, suitable for vegetarians. One crisp bread is 27 calories, so a couple of those with a bit of something on the top. Nice, quick, easy snack, not too many calves. 79 pence. Haribo! <sighs> I never thought about getting Haribo in uh, Haribo in Home Bargains. I spotted these and I thought, I saw them, 69p, and I thought, oh my goodness, they're cheaper than they are in Poundland. Got a bit closer, no. The pack's not as big. But I think sweet for sweet, they're about the same sort of price, so yeah. Uh, I can't remember if I said 69 or 79p. So the bag's a bit smaller, but love these. These are the Tamfastics. One final food item, not for me, Zara. Zara is our Rhodesian Ridgeback. I shall stick a little picture of her in now. So yeah, she's getting a bit older, but she's still as fit as a fiddle. In fact, this morning we went for a run 5.75 miles. She did the lot. 10 years old, she's doing really well. So every day she gets a dental chew. Um, I've not seen these before and I'm not sure if they're going to be a bit cheap and nasty. I do tend to try and buy decent dog, dog treats for her. But you get 30 in here. Um, they're only small, so I may give a one and a half rather than just one skimpy size. Because these are for all different dog sizes. Whereas normally you can buy small, medium and large. So you get a pack, like I say, of 30, 2 99 Very good price. Not so good if I have to give a two. Box of tissues. Not seen these in there before. Um, quite, quite a fan of a large tissue. And these are, this is why I got them. Uh, you get, doesn't say how many, yes it does, yeah approximately 40 in there, three ply tissue and these were only 69p, had a couple of different colours in those as well but I use loads of tissues, I have, it's like a little, um, like a little comfort blanket, it's funny my grandma did it, my mum does it and I do it now just have a tissue with me at all times. Not tucked away, just in arm's reach, whether it be on my desk at work, at night with my meal, wherever I am, I like a tissue. So I get through a lot. Not seen these before in home bargains. As you know, I'm a fan of facial wipes, but when you go on holiday, you don't really want to take the whole big pack. Um, and what I've done is I've made up now like a grab bag so ready to go i've got all my toiletries all my makeup all my brushes i've got a full second set of everything because i'm fed up of every time we go away it takes me the best part of an hour to sift through and decide what makeup and everything i want to take and what toiletries so i thought i've got a lot of stuff make up another so it's ready to go but the facial wipes take up a big chunk of room and then i saw these so i thought ha ha so these are tiny little packs. Let's get the wrapper off to show you how big they are. Look, they're not very big at all. You get 30 pads in there. So, you know, that's going to do for at least a two-week holiday. 
Uh, eye makeup remover pads with aloe vera removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. Mascara? Uh, waterproof mascara. I wear waterproof and uh, I always look for that when I'm buying facial tissues. So two of those were 69p. So I didn't think that was too bad. And uh, I'll have one spare and one can go in my grab bag. Face wash. So for years and years and years, I've used Clinique face wash, which has a nice hefty price tag. I like it, but I thought, Belinda, you're spending a heck of a lot of money on that. Let's see if anything else is any good. And I just spotted this in uh, Home Bargains. Now this is actually replacement. And in fact, I've got two. Um, I'm just coming to the end of my first one. And it's tea tree daily daily use cleanser foaming face wash for clean and healthy skin and i have to be honest i can't say i've noticed any difference from using this instead of clinique i have got a couple of clinique mini ones left which i'll, I'll obviously use up but day to day my normal shower this stuff for 89 pence compared to probably 14 pounds i'm going to be sticking with this i think i don't know if i can get the top off this or oh, can i think this has got a little bit of a lime smell to it yeah, it has. It's got a sort of, um, I've got it all over my nose. It's got a sort of a, a medicinal slightly smell, which must be some sort of, which is the tea tree. And mixed with a bit of lime, it's really nice. And I actually do use it, because I, I don't wash my hair every day, but I do wash my fringe. I use a bit of that for it as well, and that's been okay. So yeah, I should be using that going forward so i may have mentioned before i've got a box that i keep all of my spare birthday cards in and gift wrap and everything just for those occasions when you might not have a card i like to have a spare one well i've never really bought cards from home bargains before so a couple of christmas ones caught my eye so pick those up um i've sent those so i can't show you them so i thought i'll have a look at the other greetings card <laughs> Uh, yes, the the chap at the uh, the counter, he gave me real. He gave me such a funny look with all the list. This lot, I said, well, that you know, it's the last of the year. For the price of them, um, some of them are a bit dodgy, but I tried to sift through and pick the best ones. So I'll just show you them very quickly. Um, this is a lovely one in rose gold and pinks. Birthday, sixty nine pence. Another birthday, female, thirty nine p. This one's really nice. It's just, again, pink with sort of gold glittery. And I've just spotted, these are made by Hallmark. That one's not. Some of them are Hallmark cards. You don't pay 39 pence in a Hallmark shop for something like that, let me tell you. Anniversary, this is another Hallmark, 39p. A lot of people call me B. My name's Belinda, shorten it to B. I do tend to receive quite a lot of birthday cards with bees on, but I thought I might get a couple to send out. Uh, this one was 49 pence. It's sort of blue. This actually could be um, used for a male as well. Two of those. Lovely thank you card here. Uh, Greys and whites and pinks, 69 pence. The little diamante on there. New home one, 69 pence. Uh, this one's a bit leery actually. Uh, yeah, time to party like a pineapple 69 pence pineapple with a pair of sunglasses on not quite sure who's going to get that one but i just thought it looked a bit jazzy my mum loves sloths sloth sloth whatever you call them um and i'm always buying her stuff with sloths on i spot this my mum is now 72 and she also likes to do the odd slut drop She's bonkers, my mum is sometimes. She's such good fun. Doesn't look her age. Doesn't act her age. Uh, like me, well, this is where I obviously get it from, love dancing. We just go off. The pair of us, well, we'll dance together if we're out together, which is very, very rare. But, uh, well, sometimes, actually, we went to a wedding reception and we were dancing together all night. But mum still goes out. I still go out. Um, and we go off in a world of our own just dancing. Uh, so yeah, saw this. So it 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 covers both bases. Drop like a sloth on your birthday. 
So I will get her a normal nice card, but this I thought was a bit of fun in it. was only 29p. That's a bit nasty. Good luck, 39p. This I think is absolutely beautiful. This is like a cutout bit on the front, stuck on something else. And that is a thank you card, just a little message to say a big thanks to you, 69p. And they also did this design in birthday cards, which I've got two of. In fact, no, I've got three. There they are. 69 pence each. These are like these. Did someone say Prosecco? Happy birthday. Got little um, iridescent sequins in there and a glass of Prosecco. 69 pence. A couple a little bit more serious uh, for when people lose people. Sympathy cards. Um, so that one is with deepest sympathy. Thinking of you at this sub time. 29 pence. And that's just a thinking of you with a blank one. So that that's a pretty good one for uh, different situations. 39p. A couple of these finally. And these are just a happy birthday with a little cocktail glass on the front. 39 pence each. I think I spent nearly 15 quid just on cards. But that, they're going to last me a long time, aren't they? Absolute bargains. Okay. Also picked up some of this. A little bit of uh, tissue paper. I do like to use tissue paper when I'm wrapping. Um, I often like using a gift bag and I don't like to just put the gift straight in there. I like to wrap it in gift, in uh, tissue paper. So you get 10 sheets per pack. Uh, so I've gone for lilac, white and pink, 49 pence. Brilliant. Mentioned before, I'm creating a bit of a craft box for when I finally retire at some point. So just as I'm going along, in fact, I might do some of this before I retire. I'm picking up bits to put in it. Um, trying to be quite selective, more of a high end sort of uh, crafting. Um, so, yeah, the, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in different shops, isn't there? But I, I like to pick up pieces that are a little bit more, just look a bit more expensive than they actually are. And I saw these and these are individual letters and they are... I don't know how well it will come up on the screen for you, but they're sort of an off-white with a bit of iridescent, iridescent glitter on them. And you get 28 each pack. I just bought two. And uh, I think these were 99p a pack or 49p, something like that. Maybe a pound. Anyway, when I went back in the shop today, they didn't have any left. So I'm, I'm glad I picked up the two, two lots. Then in the crafting area... They had these. I've already bought one of these and I've used it on a bauble wreath that I made earlier for Christmas. I'll just show you a picture of it now. A lot of you, if you've been on my channel for a while, you'll have seen that many times. Anyway, because I've already used it, I thought I'm going to pick up another one. So originally this was in the um, wedding section, but it's now in the crafting section. £1.29 and it is a Diamante button. Right, we're nearly there, nearly finished. So I've been a big fan of Zaflora. That craze took the world by storm not long ago, didn't it? But I'm not a Zaflora snob. I'm happy to try equivalents. Fabulosa being one of them, which is, um, I thought this was just a home bargains brand, but it's not. They had it in the pound stretcher as well. The bottle's not that full because half of it is on my stuff where it's leaked. Um, they do a lot of fragrances and you get 220 ml for a pound. This is fresh linen. That's absolutely fine on the old dirt nasal passages. Um, there's not... No, there is a few of these that I like, but I'm decided because I've got a cupboard full of the things, I'm being a bit more selective and I'm only buying fragrances that I like. I do put this in a cap full with most of our uh, washes, especially our sports kit, to try and kill off a bit of bacteria that causes the nasty underlying whiffs. So the fresh linen is really nice to go in the washing machine. My favourite is rhubarb, wild rhubarb. Can I find it? No, I blinking well can't. If you ever see it, get it, because it's absolutely lovely. Um, I have a little sprayer at work that I uh, make up of it. So I've got bits of flora with the water. Um, just use a little bit of flora, water, and then I can use that to disinfect my work area if people, other people go on it. Um, 
Yeah, so that's that. Spotted this today. Oh, did I go a bit cross-eyed then? As you know, if you've been here again for a while, you know I love foaming body washes. Uh, raspberry is one of my favourite fragrances. Not seen this one before. Raspberry Flamingo. Uh, yeah, I was well chuffed. So I'm interested to see what that one smells like. I absolutely love the packaging. It's lovely, isn't it? Especially if you've got a pink bathroom or pink and white. So this was uh, 169 which was a good price actually. In uh, Boots, full price. This stuff's £3. But in Home Bargains, you can often get it for 199 So even cheaper. Uh, I wish I'd got a few more now, actually. I've just realised it is a bit cheaper than it normally is. But I'm trying to wear, uh, wear down my stock of body washes. I've got tons of this stuff. I'm always buying it. And I thought, stop buying them now, Belinda. Use some up. So that's what I've been doing. But I couldn't resist this one. Headphones. Can you get a pair of headphones that still go over your head that aren't those whoppers? No, you can't. And when I run, I do find I prefer one with a headband because they fall out your ears otherwise. Or I'm not sure if I've just got small ear bits. I do struggle getting them in. Anyway, I saw these um, in Home Bargains for $2.99, Active Earbuds. And they've got... I was going to show you them, but I've just realised... <laughs> I've already taken them out of the packet and they're in our cabin because... Uh, they're ready to be used on the next time I train in there. So apologies for that. But I will be able to show you this. It looks a bit like a cockle, doesn't it? Anyway, um, so it goes in your ear and then this bit is supposed to hook on to something in your ear to stop it wiggling about. Ooh. Anyway, I can't remember, but somehow hooks on. But I've not used them yet, so... I'm interested to give those a go. What I'll do, I will be, I'm running tomorrow, so um, by the time this video is edited, I'll have used them. So I'll let you know on the screen below if they're any good. Oh, that's snazzy. It's got like a little uh, magnet in there. And then the final thing on this haul. Uh, yeah, real techniques in home bargains. Wowzers. Um, when I went back today, the brushes that I brought, bought previously have all gone. They only had this one left, which is the setting brush. And what I like about this, it's a very unusual size. Uh, a lot of brushes that you find are either bigger or smaller. And I bought one of these on my last haul, which you may have already seen. And I really like it, so I thought I need to get another one, so I've got a spare. So these are two ninety nine. Uh, love the colour; it's like a, a fuchsia pink. Um, but they didn't have the other brushes that I bought on the last haul; they'd all sold out. But what they did have for four ninety nine was an eyebrow kit. So as I'm in an R and do I need it? No, and I didn't buy it, which I'm not regretting. I made the right decision. But for anybody else that's uh, on the lookout for something, it had two pairs of tweezers, a normal pair and then a very thin pointy pair. These aren't them, but this is, I've already got some, so that's why I didn't need any more. So they come in quite handy sometimes, those little stabbers. Um, it had a spoolie. What else? Oh, a brush, an angled brush. And then a sort of foamy ended one when you put, I think that's more for... Um, you know when you use like a shadow or a, not necessarily a pomade because you'd use the other, you'd lose, I'd use the slanted brush for the pomade but I don't know why I'm looking up there. Um, I'd use the slanted brush for the pomade and then if I had some sort of powder I would have used the sponge thing but they were really good value for 4 99 but I thought I don't need them so I didn't buy them so I just picked this one up instead. So that's it, that's that uh, Home Bargains haul done. Uh, quite a mixed bag there, if you'll agree. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that one. So I hope you did too. If you did, give me a big like or thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. Don't give me the thumbs down. Uh, I keep getting some rogue putting... I reckon some somebody that watches my channel goes on every one of my videos and gives me a thumb down because I seem to have at least one on every single video. So... Sling your hook. I'm not interested, thanks. If you don't like it, get off. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. It'd be great if you wanted to subscribe and I'll see you again on another video soon. Bye for now.